Africa home, Africa home, Africa home, mothers of technology. All the might let's unite and join in unity. do you i mean did she get all the courage from so for her sake africa hall eh? you guys you guys you guys see what she brought upon you the first university female president in africa no cap comment down below if you have one in your school i would like to know <laughs> hey everyone thank you for clicking if you are new to my channel welcome my name is lillian if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming back guys i had other plans but when i saw a video of the first female student president i pause in my country we call that student union president student union governor whatever you call it so she drew my attention to the hall immediately she mentioned her hall which happened to be africa hall i said okay let's go there and take a look at the people that were there before her so let's do that together and i'll be back africa hall africa hall africa hall mothers of technology all the minds let's unite and join in unity africa hall anywhere we go we give our mark over there hence we are called dormice not only dormice but dormice and pearls as well and it is the best hall that can ever be as associated to excellence on campus so you guys should watch out for us because we are coming with all the full force and the full room as dormice and as proud intellectuals ladies of the hall are very enthusiastic when it comes to competition they engage in it they want to be first i would like to say africa in one way uniqueness we are unique in everything we do both in intellect duty name it there is nothing that any other female hall can amount whilst there is africa but watch out for africa hall in the coming competition we are heading somewhere and i cannot wait to present to you the lady i'm talking about okay because come on this is uncommon but in ghana people always give glory to their the schools they attended way back to people go back to ask to take a look at the secondary school you attended especially the senior secondary school you attended to be able to judge your actions maybe mm, mm, he did this she did this because of okay uh, it's okay this school all right oh wow okay is this school yeah i'm not surprised so yeah that is why right if you were a student that resident in in the university campus they want to take a look at your hall i mean okay mm, what what hall was that mm, oh okay all right uh yeah okay 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 oh wow so it's just, <laughs> you know what i mean yeah it's like that and so when i saw honorable yvonne i wanted to know a whole lot more about her so that was why we are here but so before we get to her let's look at everything we can find about africa hall africa hall was commissioned in 1967 as an all-female hall but was changed into a mixed hall in 2018 the hall has a market basketball court and a jcr the hall is beautiful no doubt mm. but the most beautiful part for me about, about africa hall is certainly honorable yvonne the first female student president i mean the first female president i mean a university campus president in africa because i don't know which one uh, any if you know any please comment down below okay in, in my own country that is a big position that placed you high 
in the society you get to meet with kings and queens regardless of your family background if you win the sug president if you become the sug president <laughs> you are as important and a big deal as the president no as the governor of a state in my country so if so you are likely you are certainly you should in fact they get invited to political gatherings and important gathering in the society in the country so that is how big deal it is so um let's take a look at their parade first before we come back to show you guys the beauty that this hall has created <laughs> on campus at the moment you cannot deny them the opportunity to have an equal share in whatever is available on campus can anybody give a fair reason why we need to and for that matter university hall should not offer some webbed spaces to our ladies a third year the adventist senior high school where she also doubles as the second in command for the africa hall army cadets all right, so today happened to be the celebration of the Hall Weeks in KNUS, and this is the first time we are doing it together as a grand star. And I happen to have the Pro VC of the university, Reverend Professor Charles Ansa. And I yes, beautiful. Okay, and I'm glad we are almost there. As I don't even, okay, fine, let me not waste your time. Let me present to you, Honorable. Yvonne Ose, the first female student. How do I put it? Let her do the introduction herself. <laughs> My name is Yvonne Ose Abibia. I read sociology. I'm in third year and I'm from the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. I had my basic education at Rockhanji Presbyterian Experimental School in Ota Fukumase. From there, I gained admission to go and read general arts at Sewenyako Girls Senior High School in Dichem. So I have found memories of when I was in JHS, when I used to fight with my colleagues, especially the males, because they used to cheat me. So I gained admission and then I went to Sewenyako Girls Senior High School. And then over there in second year, that's when I was in Form 2, 
I contested for head girl. I was a day student as at that time and then I won and after winning I moved to the boarding house and then I remember in SHS 2 second term during my time it was 10 because I didn't enjoy free SHS by so at that time it was second it was 10. I decided to put myself out there and contest for SRC president because in every society leadership is very key and then I knew that I had the competencies to put myself out there and contest for the position. That is why I went there to serve my people. You know, see, I've never had a female SRC president. So working on my mental health was very important to me since SHS the second term. I was always psyching myself that KNOC is a male-dominated institution and definitely people would tell me that it's not possible. And after that time too, I learned that university hall and then the unity hall, it was male-dominated, it was a male hall. So from that point, I was psyching myself, preparing myself psychologically. The first battle I, I encountered was with my family members, convincing them that yes, I have a purpose to fulfill at Kane Westy and I have to come to Kane Westy. So working on my mental health was very important to me. And of course, you will need friends. Friends are very important. Building the good friends, quality friends, friends that will help me to be able to achieve my ambition and harness all my potentials. Trust me, I face a lot of challenges. In fact, the first one as I said earlier, I started for my family. I had to work hard to be able to convince them that yes, I have to come to KNUSC. And then when I came to KNUSC, the first people I, I encountered, when I told them I wanted to contest for SRC president, even that time, SRC presidential aspirants came to our room. I remember 54A in Africa. And I told one SRC presidential aspirant that I want to be SRC president. He was marveled and he told me that it will be difficult. Are you sure you are ready for this? And I told him that yes. So there were a lot of challenges. People told me that it was not possible because in 63 years, King Rossi had never had a female SRC president. I'm not coming from the biggest hall. I'm from Africa Hall and our population is 800. Even my own classmates, some of them doubted me. My friends, a lot of them doubted me. I lost some of my friends because of the decision I made to contest for King Rossi SRC president. And of course, whenever you are contesting for a position, you will need a manager. You need someone to manage you. And I clearly remember that at the beginning, I wasn't getting any want to manage me because most of them when they come they all have their demands that they want even if i will work with my last energy in me i will do that and thankfully in second semester i met this gentleman called ahmed farouk he met me at the mosque and he said i will help you and that was the breakthrough he's a very good man personally this means a lot to me but i'm very excited and i'm very proud and it's not about me alone because during my campaign i encountered a lot of females in their rooms who wanted to contest for position. Someone told me that she wants to be the first female UN general secretary and the person is from KNUSC. I met people who wanted to be college presidents, faculty presidents, a lot of people with ambitions to become CEOs but they are afraid to come out and this win means a lot to me and a lot of women out there that it is possible wherever you are that you are listening to me. So far as you make up your mind, you can do it. So my vision for running for SRC president is to lead an SRC that puts students first and to engage with stakeholders at every level to ensure that our students are able to pursue their academic goals. Good people of King Westy, let me know how I can help you. I have my plan for the office, but it could be that my plan may not be the best. It may not be the best one to seal to you, to help you to pursue your academic goals. Please, I am open. Your SRC office is open to you. Reach out to us and let us know how best we can help you. Thank you, KNUSD. I am so grateful. And thank you to my managers who helped me and guided me. My vice president, Nana Kwabuna say Thank you so much for the support you gave me. The names I can mention and those I can't mention. God bless you all. I'm so grateful. Long live the SRC. Long live KNUSD. If you know me, you may think I'm gender biased and the truth is yes i am sorry i still i'm still able to tell the truth when my gender is at fault okay when my gender no do well i know and i still admit it that man sis i don't agree with you but i feel like many of the times um 
we get treated badly <laughs> just for being women you know she stated it see if you're a woman like this beautiful lady you're gonna come across to some people like a troublesome person because say you have the spirit of anogo gree in you you see hannah I said i always got into trouble with the guys because they were always cheating me okay maybe i feel like she's my little sister man like what is this another thing i mean yeah if not why is she like this another thing i wanted to understand is if she was born raised in america come back to school in ghana that way it is understood because a lot of women in the west especially the u.s have come up with courageous acts like that after listening to her there are a lot of things i've cut out of the video anyways because i didn't want to present everything like that okay it's against the youtube community guidelines and i do not want to break that so i cut out a lot of things i wanted to understand her family background because it plays a major role in our decision making it's very important so i wanted to know what kind of family this young lady comes from but after all she said about her family i'm like okay so where was she raised then when she said she was raised here in ghana born raised and educated here in ghana never been outside of ghana before then i remember that if i forget the african women are also as courageous and even more courageous than than any continent i may be thinking of then i'm wrong because what about ya santiwa i mean she was born raised the ashanti region of ghana but it did not it did not stop her from going to war she let the men and women of her kingdom to go face to face with the colonial masters and fought to defend her fatherland her motherland to defend her people and protect the treasures of her land so how dare me forget that we should we shouldn't be shocked to see someone like this from this part of africa especially this region of Ghana. Yes, Antiwa already passed on, we know. But do you know that there's something about where people are from? And that is why in Ghana, when you do something, people go back to look at your senior secondary school. They want to know, oh, okay, mm, which secondary school did the person attend? People want to know which of the secondary schools you went to. I mean, especially senior high school. Yeah. So it's like that. So for me to have forgotten the impossibility of women like this in Africa, then I was wrong. Another point I would like to point out in her statement in the video where she was talking about you know her journey and everything is where she said she had to prepare herself mentally she had to prepare her mental health you know i remember i have said this a lot online you know your mental health your mental health even though sometimes you get misunderstood because it feels like you have some hidden sickness hidden hidden uh, mental ailments in you no that's not it but there are things that will be brought against you for doing things that are not common with your environment because if you are a woman in africa and you want to be different from other women because the society already has stereotype for women so if you want to go against that it simply means you're about to you are breaking the rules and it comes with a consequence and she knew this she had to prepare for her mental health but see what i cannot um the reason i'm talking this much about her is she's young she's so young where on head do you i mean did she get all the courage from so for her sake africa hall eh? you guys you guys you guys see what she brought upon you the first university female president in africa no cap comment down below if you have one in your school i would like to know <laughs> anyways I have so much to say about this young lady, but I'm going to end it here. She talked about her mental health. So that her mental health journey is very important because you have to be ready because a lot of things will be brought up against you. Things that are terrible and people are going to believe. Believable things against you that you haven't done. And some people will believe and act against you. So you have to be ready if you want to go against the rules of the game i mean as a woman you want to stand out right you want to be different you want to be bold you want to speak up you want to stand out you want to, you know so i have learned so much from her okay 
I have learned so much from her and seeing her videos made me believe that me worrying about my mental health all the while, all this time, you know, I used to talk about it here. I'm on point. I mean, I'm thinking straight because you have to be prepared for so many things that will be brought against you for, uh, for making certain decisions as a woman in the society, especially if you are the first to take that route. It comes with a price and that price, some of the times your mental health pace <laughs> anyways i do hope that you enjoyed this video and that i will see you in another one bye